What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, despite all the cope and the hiding it, because uh, you can't hide it anymore, Marvel is not doing well. Disney Marvel, that is. Uh, last year, only one movie was profitable, Guardians of the Galaxy, leading to a $1.3 billion loss on their movie side. That's conservative. Uh, which, needless to say, meant they needed some course correction uh that led to a lot of creative resets which meant firing everyone and retooling and uh bob Iger himself admitted that they have quietly canceled some movies you can see him uh said this is about a week ago uh he said you have to kill things you no longer believe in and that's not easy in this business because either you've gotten started you have uh, some sunk costs or it's a relationship with either your employees or with the creative community it's not an easy thing, but you got to make those tough calls. We've actually made those tough calls. We've not been that public about it, but we've killed a few projects already that we just didn't feel were strong enough. And right on the heels of that, we have this report from, I mean, a lot of people have done this, but here's Forbes picking it up. Eternals 2, gone. Captain Marvel 3, gone. Ant-Man 4, gone. My sister, Staffordshire, China gone either way here we go uh yeah insider da daniel reitman who basically is the only source of news uh these days uh of course eternals lost money ant-man and the wasp quantum mania lost money and the performance of jonathan majors far before his legal battles is what led them to wanting to move away from that kang dynasty they foolishly based around him based solely on his little performance as a version of he who remains at the end of season one of loki that's who made them think was their big bad and of course the marvels lost money so all of this banked on the fact that the secret invasion show was also lost money that was linked to the marvels which of course no one watched any of this shite that uh well that leads to it all being gone and uh yet shockingly somehow still the only movie still going forward is Shang Chi. This guy, he was right. I was wrong. I, I said that it was cope. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. It was, apparently the cope was all on this side right here. Shang Chi is Shang Chi, if you're fancy. But Shang Chi is in fact getting a sequel. And when, of course, we're hearing also from uh, the only scooper we have out there, Daniel Reitman, that uh, Iron Fist is going to be in it. And just more proof that Shang-Chi is happening. Here's some production listings from Production Weekly. And the listing simply says, Shang-Chi, the master of weaponry-based kung fu, is forced to confront his past after being drawn into the Ten Rings organization. And we got some producer credits here. So, uh, and yeah, no word on if that Iron Fist will be the uh, female version or the Danny Rand version. And that's it. Bunch of stuff canceled with my... Oh! That's right, Henry Cavill as Wolverine. That's right. That, I'm sorry, I, I went through the vegetables and here's the meat right here. No, we had heard for a while now that he was in talks to be in the MCU. And then we heard that Henry Cavill had indeed accepted a role, but it was not Captain Marvel. And even Gary from Nerdrotic through his sources, he says, yeah, he has, he's doing something, but it's not Captain uh, Britain, rather. Captain Marvel, that would have been the real Captain Marvel. Uh, it's not Captain Britain. It is, and now we're hearing from again, like I said, oh, this isn't, I don't actually think this is uh, not, yeah, I was going to say for once, it's not Daniel Reitman. This is Can We Get Toast has confirmed that Cavill is playing a, a Wolverine variant in the upcoming Deadpool. So we have heard there's going to be a bunch of, uh, I know we heard a lot for like Multiverse of Madness that there was going to be a bunch and there was like, they just brought in the Illuminati to kill them ignominiously, but we are hearing it has been backed up. Even Critical Drinker and Gary, who had some also, uh, when they went to a Comic-Con, they talked to some people that worked on it, said, no, no, no. There will be a bunch of legit cameos from both the Fox and other Marvel properties in MCU. And there will also be some outside. And a lot of the kooky things, fun things that we heard for Multiverse of Madness that just was never going to happen is actually happening in here. So I sort of believe that it could be possible that Cavill would come in. And also... He's too busy to be Captain Marvel in his own movies and showing up. and giving. He's got the Warhammer movies he's doing. He's doing the Highlander reboot. God knows what else he's doing. So, yeah, uh, him is just a really, I don't know what the context of that would be, just because maybe he was a fan cast at one point. Um, 
And also, I think it's really funny. Like, oh, you don't want me, Superman? Fine. Just go over there to show what Wolverine would look like as a badass. Uh, and, oh, and here's something he said. I'm never going to say a Marvel character that is already being played by someone else because everyone's doing such a, yeah. However, I have the internet and I have seen the various rumors about Captain Britain and that would be a load of fun to do. Cool, modernized version of that. But uh, yeah, I, him showing up as Wolverine would be cool. But basically, that's it. That's it. No more Eternals, Ant-Man, or the Marvels. I hope. I hope you are all right about that. And we're getting more Shang-Chi with uh, probably a female version of Iron Fist or maybe a different version, the the the, the, the new Asian version of uh Iron Fist. No more, no more white boy Danny Rand. You've been canceled for obvious reasons. For obvious, but not the reasons you think. All right. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Make sure to like, share, and sub if you've done that. Thank you. If you're gonna do that, thank you. And if you're still watching this on uh, March 15th before 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, well, come here to the channel, watch uh, Inside the Badger Den live with me and Mr. Tech Rat, and no drunken nerd wars to derail everything. Sorry. Sorry, maybe Sydney Sweeney's boobs. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, get out of here. I love you. Well, bye.